Hey, Jill. Have you heard anything from Joe? I just got home and he's not around. <coughs> he hasn't replied to me since this morning. Is he with you? <coughs> Jesus Christ! How many times do you have to message me? I'm sorry. I'm just really worried about Joe. I didn't mean to bother you. Well, I feel bothered. I'm having dinner with Joe. Oh, so he's with you. That's right. He finished work early, so he invited me out. We're enjoying a delicious meal at a nice restaurant. Really? He didn't say anything about that. I already cooked dinner for him. So? That's not my problem. We're enjoying the delicious food. He doesn't even want to eat your cooking. I wish he had told me earlier. And why didn't he invite me to go out? Don't you get it? If you came with us, all this delicious food would be ruined because you're annoying. He only made reservations for the two of us from the beginning. I wish he had told me sooner. I wouldn't have wasted my time cooking dinner. Why don't you just eat and freeze the rest? Can you stop nagging about everything? I'm not nagging, Jill. At this point, I don't know what I'm doing in this house. What do you mean by that? Like, what's the point of marrying me if he just leaves me at the house all the time? I feel like I'm always left out in this family. I don't consider you as my family. At the end of the day, blood is thicker than water. This is too much. I don't care what you think. He is my precious son, and we are connected by a special bond. There is no room for you to come in. Oh, really? You know, Joe has been a big mama's boy since he was a kid. I can tell, and I think it's weird. What? He's in his 30s. I think he needs to grow up. Veronica! Do you think you can talk to me like that? What? Don't tell me you forgot what I did for you. I helped your mother to get a referral from a famous doctor. Remember? In other words, I saved your mother's life. Yes, I didn't forget that. In exchange for referring a doctor, you asked me to marry your son. I really thought it was a crazy idea, but I fell in love with him. You're welcome. Besides saving your mother's life, you got to marry the son from a prestigious family. But I never thought I'd end up like this. End up like what? You were the one who asked me to marry your son. But like today, you always leave me out. Shut up! Just because you married my son doesn't mean you can come between us. Just shut your mouth and do your chores. Why don't you use your brain more to be useful? I'm sorry. Have fun eating out. Don't tell me what to do, you useless wife. Hey, Veronica. Just so you know, you don't need to cook dinner for Joe today. What? Again? Where are you having dinner this time? Well, we haven't had dinner yet. We're shopping at a mall. Shopping? We're looking for clothes for the trip next month. Oh, really? He never mentioned that he wanted to buy new clothes for our honeymoon. I thought he was the kind of person who doesn't care about fashion. What are you talking about? We're shopping for my clothes. Your clothes? Yeah, I'm going on the honeymoon too. What? Are you serious? Oh! Is there any law that a mother can't go on a honeymoon with her son? Not really, but... Then there's no problem, right? I didn't hear anything about it. Oh, well, when we were having dinner yesterday, he invited me. Oh my god, I can't believe it. And you know, it's my and Joe's birthday next month. So I think it's a perfect idea to celebrate our birthdays. 
together with a honeymoon. What? Joe is such a perfect son. He grew up to be the man of my dreams. That sounds weird to me. Excuse me? What's weird about the mother loving her son? Did you hear where we're going for a honeymoon? Oui. What? Oh my God, you are slow. I answered yes in French. You guys are going to France, right? To be honest, if you're coming on our trip, I want to cancel it. Why? You hate me that much? Did you forget that one time when the three of us took a trip together? Yeah, what about it? I had to carry the luggage and make all the hotel reservations. To top it off, I paid all the travel expenses, you know. Of course! That's all your responsibility as a wife. I don't think so. You're exaggerating everything. I don't think I could handle all that stress again. It was a day trip, and you're saying that? What about this 10-day trip? What? 10 days? You're asking me to take care of everything for a 10-day trip? Joe and I will pay for the hotel. You just have to pay for everything else, like the airfare. Why do I have to pay that much? I'm broke these days. I started a flamenco class and it costs a lot. Besides, I think you're earning more than Joe. You're broke? You don't believe me? You too often go out, and you buy a lot of luxury branded stuff. What's that supposed to mean? For me, it doesn't look like you're broke. You don't know anything about me. Stop judging me. I'm not judging or anything. Joe has already booked the plane tickets, and tomorrow is the payment due. So it's confirmed that you're coming. What will happen to your mother if you don't do what I say? What do you mean? I referred her to the best doctor in the world, and I hear her condition is getting better. Yes, she is. I appreciate what you did for my mother. But if you won't pay for the airfare, I'll talk to the doctor and tell them to kick her out of the hospital. I don't think you could do that. Oh, you want to try me? You don't care what happens to your mother? Fine. I'll pay for the airfare. Good. Don't you ever talk back to me, okay? I'm sorry. All right, then. Please give the payment to Joe by the end of today. Okay. Jill? Where are you? What time are you arriving at the airport? I've been waiting for you guys for 30 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. You two left too early without me. I thought you guys were already here, but I can't see you at the check-in counter. Where are you? Don't tell me you guys are still on your way to the airport. No way. We are already on the plane. What? I wish I could see your stupid face right now. What a poor, miserable woman, being left alone in the airport. We will enjoy this trip, just the two of us. Wait a minute. Are you sure you know where we're going? Our flight to Paris is almost two hours before boarding time. What? Paris? What are you talking about? We're going to Rome. I thought we were going to France. No, no, no. We pranked you. Joe never planned for a honeymoon. Instead, he's been planning a birthday trip to Italy. What? That is so messed up. Oh, come on. It's just a silly prank on you. By the way, Joe didn't book a ticket for you in the first place. I knew you were up to something, but I didn't expect it to go this far. I did a great job, don't you think? It's too much. You're an idiot for falling for it. Why did you do this? 
because you would ruin our trip if you came with us. Don't you get it? Joe enjoys being with me. But still, you don't have to lie to me like this. This is so messed up. Lately, you've been so cocky. I just wanted to teach you a lesson. I don't understand why you're doing this to me. You were the one who asked me to marry your son. Because Joe was crazy about you that time. What do you mean? Because you have a face like his favorite actress. He begged me to do something to make you marry him. What? Well, Joe told me that he loves me the most. So I gave him what he wanted. So he only loved my looks? Yes, but he told me he's tired of you now. I never thought you would fall in love with my son, too. Seriously, you are so cocky. I don't even want to accept you as family. It was my biggest mistake that I married Joe. Oh, my God. Are you crying right now? No, but this is the worst. You really thought you would go to France? Poor you. I just received a message from Joe. He said, Do you understand who is in a higher position? What the hell? What's that supposed to mean? That's my son. Please return my money. I can't, because I'm using it for shopping. I knew that was your plan all along. Oh, we did another prank on you. I took your credit card out of your wallet. What? No way you did that. Joe helped me, so it was easy to get it. If you think I'm lying, why don't you look in your wallet now? Oh my god, my credit card is not here. Oh dear, how dumb are you? What you did is a crime. It's your fault for not keeping your wallet in the safe. What? That doesn't mean it's okay to take it. Shut up! Suck on it, you idiot! I don't deserve all this. Yes, you do. You are being cocky. You need to get punished. Seriously? What did I do to you? You know what? With the money you gave Joe and your credit card, I bought a very expensive branded bag. What? I bought two bags I've wanted for a long time. Joe bought a watch and shoes. You will regret this. Why would I? Oh dear, you are so miserable. I will call my credit card company right now. If you do that, I'll tell my son to divorce you. Then you know what I would do to your mother? Please do not involve my mom into this. Shut up! Well then, we will have fun in Rome. Buongiorno, Veronica. We are coming back tomorrow, so please pick us up at the airport. I won't take no for an answer. How can you ask me to do that after what you did? Our birthday trip was the best. I can't wait to show you all the photos we took. I'm not interested. Are you still mad at me? You are so immature. I wish I could have seen how miserable you were. Hey, did you cry in public at the airport? Did you try to chase after the plane? And then the staff seized you and dragged you away? I wish someone took a video of it and uploaded it on social media. Oh God, that would be hilarious. Is that all you have to say? Oh, come on. It's just a joke. You know what? I got you a birthday present, both for you and Joe. What kind of birthday present? It's a surprise. It will ruin the surprise if I tell you. What are you up to? Nothing. Stop lying and tell me already. All right, I'll tell you. What is it? Happy birthday to scums. Happy birthday, assholes. Happy birthday, dear idiots. Happy birthday to you. Excuse me? Did you like my song? 
My present to you guys is divorce papers and a lawsuit. What? In an even bigger surprise, you guys have a warrant out for your arrest. I got a ticket for your special flight. What the hell is going on? I talked to my lawyer and I'm suing both of you. I'm going to make you pay for everything you did to me. Hey, Veronica, calm down. I already have all the evidence. There's no way you can get away with it. Be prepared. Wait a minute. We didn't do anything that bad. Are you serious? You've been harassing me every single day. I didn't mean it. There was one day you threw my food all over the floor, and you forced me to crawl on the floor to eat my food. It was just a joke. And there was a time your scum mama's boy told me to lick his shoes. He treated me like a slave. Joe didn't mean it. Oh my God, you took everything too seriously. I had insomnia because of you. I'm still going to the psychiatrist. Of course, I submitted the medical certificate as evidence. But that doesn't mean I'm going to jail, right? Don't tell me you told the police about the credit card. I'll give it back now, so give me a break. Do you think I'm only talking about the credit card? You're not? Do you think I don't know? You committed another crime before, right? What? I know you stole a purse at the flamenco class. I know nothing about it. And you framed an innocent person, making that person pay for the money you stole? How did they find out about all that? The victim came to the house. I talked to her and we went to the police together. No way! When I checked your car, I found a purse and other belongings of students. I submitted that as evidence. Jesus Christ! What have you done? That's my line. Don't worry, you two will be arrested together. What? What did Joe do? He harassed a subordinate and embezzled company money. The police came to see the house the other day. What? I already told the police when you will be back. You two can't get away with this anymore. Screw that! We did nothing wrong! You already admitted that you committed a crime. You can't get away with it. Just take responsibility for what you did. I don't want to go to jail. It's all your fault. You and your son are scumbags. What's the matter with you? Don't you disrespect me. Why not? You two are the scummiest. Shut up. You will regret what you did. I do regret marrying your son. Oh, one more thing. What is it this time? I've canceled my credit card a few days ago. Oh, really? Then I'll talk to the doctor and ask him to kick your mother out of the hospital. That won't be a problem. What do you mean? Just yesterday was my mother's checkup day. I told the doctor exactly what you told me. Do you know what the doctor said? What? He said, I don't give up on patients for such a stupid reason. He was angry that you tried to bribe him. Wait a minute. I'm in trouble. I don't think we can go home after all. Don't you have round trip tickets? Joe got pickpocketed. They took his bag, our passports, tickets, and all our money are gone. You can speak Italian, right? I'm sure you'll be fine. What? I can't speak Italian. You said buongiorno earlier. Oh, shut up. You should do something about your husband and mother-in-law. I can't do anything about it. Besides, I'm divorcing Joe. Oh my God, no! Please, help us! Just come home, okay? The police are waiting for you at the airport. Oh no! Please help me! When I was abandoned at the airport, I was seething with anger. But looking back, I am glad that I was able to get a divorce because of this incident. 
At the time, I married a man that I only knew for a few days. He was a terrible mama's boy, and his mother was insane. It was never going to work out. I wish I realized that sooner. Jill and Joe managed to return home from their trip. They got caught by the police at the airport and taken to the station. When the two were arrested, they were yelling it wasn't their fault and causing a scene. It was chaos at the airport, and soon, everyone was sharing their crazy video online. It went viral and even made the news later on. Jill got a one-year jail sentence. However, when Jill was first separated from her son, she began acting erratically in jail. She often had trouble with inmates, resulting in her jail time getting longer. Similarly, Joe also received a jail sentence. Unlike Jill, Joe's new environment without his mother changed him. He realized his mistakes and actively engaged in activities in jail. Recently, he became a model inmate. His sentence was reduced, and he is doing his best to get out of prison. As for me, my life is so much better after that incident. I received reimbursement for the payment that Jill and Joe used on my credit card. Joe tried to reconcile, but of course I said no. We proceeded with the divorce, and I finally ended the relationship with that crazy family. Now I'm back at my parents' house. My mother's condition is improving steadily. What Jill did to me is unforgivable. But I can't thank her enough for recommending the best doctor for my mother. According to the lawyer, the reason they stole money was Jill's late husband's passing. Her late husband was managing all the finances at the time. But after he passed away, Jill and Joe used all his inheritance to live extravagantly. Their habits continued, leading them to steal money to maintain their lavish lifestyle. I hope they learn their lesson this time and can get back on their feet. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.